Okay everybody, it's Lego Jeff O with another Lego Room update. Uh, I've moved a few things around here, not too much. We have the windows in. The windows are now in, and they look good. I'm not going to move the curtains to show them, but they are much better, and they hold the heat in. Now, I told you before, I was putting some of these uh, big figs up top of the different frames here in the Lego room. Like that, that one there, and this one. Now, I had some over the door here, but, of course, when you open the door and you shut it, it vibrates a bit, and they, they would keep falling off, so I decided against putting some there, because I kept finding them on the floor, and I don't want them to break. Uh, got a lot of my backlog here that we need to work on. Stuff that I've bought over the past couple of years. Stuff I haven't gotten to yet. And I've added a few things here on these different shelves. Like with the mar this marble shelf here. I added some big figs in the front. Like that. Here. It's hard to remember what I've shown you to be honest. Because I always throw a little something new every now and then up on the shelf. At some point I'll have to do some major renovations, but like here I got all these dinosaurs, right? I was going to put dinosaurs here, but then I threw a bunch of cars. Well, at some point I've got other dinosaur stuff and I'm going to need to decide am I going to put dinosaurs to go with this? Because that was the idea to have two Jurassic shelves. In this shelf I tore apart here. And I haven't really gone back and filled it up. Filled it up. These two are still here. They need to be taken care of. But my wife hasn't been able to get down there yet. This shelf here, if you can see where the tape stops right there, I had the shelf out to here. But then my wife and I moved it. We took all the stuff off it. We moved it up against the wall. So, because I don't have any more uh, totes here, so I, it doesn't really block it, per se. So now I've got a little more room. So I put that Lego sign here that was up against here. It was kind of buried. So I put it here, and I moved that Paul Hetherington picture that was here. I mounted it on the side of the shelf there with some command strips. Still got the two hats there. They may move eventually. I'm thinking I might put them behind here and then put another picture there. But it is coming along. Set up this table here for an extra table to build and sort and whatever. I don't know if I'm going to leave this little table here or not. I don't know. I just threw it there for now. I can get in the closet pretty easy even if it is there. Moved all the, uh, the, the Lego... Uh, bricks and plates and extra stuff moved it right there on this I kept the top empty because I'm looking at this circus train that I thought maybe I could do like a display there with the train going around in a circle not a big train obviously but you know I don't have a huge room like a lot of these lo other Lego enthusiasts and this is as far as I've gone with the medieval kingdom so far we still have one more uh, castle to build, that big white package right there. My wife will be working on that's the Dungeons and Dragons set. Yes, it's a boot Lego, so that's how that is, because Lego Jeffo don't spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars when he can spend 50 or 60. That's just how it is. But, so I still got to put a picture here, and I think I'm going to put that picture right there. The one of the Avengers, I'm going to put that here. The Avengers set will be moved a little bit back, and I'll put something up, up front there. And these shelves are totally being wasted. Uh, totally. They're all being wasted right now with cleaning supplies and bags and stupid things. Like, I want to have displays on these. Like, these heads, I got rid of a lot of the figures inside. I didn't want well, to get rid of them, but I put them places. So now some of these heads are hollow. And I need to find a better home for them because they're just uh, kind of collected in this corner here. And I don't know what to do because they're so big and gaudy, they take up space. I've got some sets down there from my aunt that I either need to display or 
put out of the way so they're safe. Now, look, I got a whole shelf of plastic bags. I mean, why do I want that? That's so ugly looking. But I've kept them there because my wife has been separating bricks and sorting bricks and all that. We needed to bag stuff. And this whole room is still a very big work in progress. Those got to go again. So I want to have sh uh, sh these shelves. I want them to be uh, display shelves. I don't want them to be junk drawers. And that's what they've become is junk drawers because... You know. Man, it's windy out there. Yeah, it is windy out there. That's why it's cold here. And the one thing I'll never part with is this beautiful woman right here. I'll always keep her around, oh. despite her obvious flaws. <laughs> How's it going there, sweetie? Having Good. fun? Yeah. But, yeah, I've got some other backlog stuff here behind the pretty wife. But I've got all my curtains back up and... We've had the people here doing the windows for a good couple of weeks. You know, a day here, a day there. Oh, it rained this day, so we'll work inside. You know, it's just stuff they've had to do because of the weather. Yes, I got my little heater pulled out here because despite new windows, it's, it's winter here in Maine. It's coming up real quick to be winter. I think we're going to get snow there's no baseboard heating next either. week. Yeah, there's no baseboard heat. So this little, this little heater will run the temperature in here and then you just turn it off and the new windows are keeping it in here pretty good i mean to be in this room you'd have to run that full blast and now it's like no you don't so the windows are making a difference i just want to see how it does for the whole winter but it will cut down on our heating bills so that's good and got my post is still there but we do have a lot of uh backlog stuff I've saved like I said over the years you know just held on to because there'll be a point when uh, I won't be able to pick up anything for a while around the holidays or whatnot it's like well look I can still do videos and I haven't been doing videos much the past couple of weeks because we've had people here working drilling and cutting and sanding and making noise so it's like I'm not gonna make a video if all that's going on so I want to get these finished these two here but I can't build it I, I can't really do it so my wife's gonna eventually get down on the floor here or sit on a pillow and kind of do stuff yeah see, I got some Mario stuff in here yeah that Mario there next to the that Mario there that's an amiibo, actually, but it looks like Lego, kind of, so I shoved them up there. That was one I got years ago. And I did put a bunch of cars, like I said. I have a few cars. I have more cars than I thought. When my friend Josh passed away a few years ago, rest in peace, Josh, uh, these, well, he sold me these before he passed away, obviously, and I held on to them all this time. And, uh, you know, still got them. I changed a few things on display up here. Moved a few things around up here. So, but this is an overlook review of the Lego room. Like I said, it's still a work in progress. I've got a lot of stuff I need to do. But I just wanted to show you how it is. A lot of stuff needs to be organized. Some stuff needs to be taken out of here. You know, like I, I, I want to keep some space under this table so I can sit at it when I work on the, the medieval kingdom. You know, but like that purple tote is all minifigures and that per tote way, way in the back is all uh, Lego Dimensions. Figures, game, sets, also the portal. So I have a bunch of Lego Dimensions stuff. Down, dimension stuff downstairs but I kept enough of it up here so I could play the game because I don't display that stuff I keep it together so I can play the game I don't want any of it to get lost because I have the complete collection of Lego Dimension stuff even the Green Arrow and Supergirl limited edition figures that were what Comic, Comic Con or whatever they came from I ended up getting those on eBay for a pretty good price. I think I paid like 30, 35 bucks for the two of them. So, but yeah, 
that's it for now, kitties, and I will talk to you later. Say goodbye, pretty wife.